Uh, hello everyone. Mm, today, just I want to talk with you about this uh, new weather program which we are using on board. Actually, I found it very useful. That's why I really like to little bit explain about this program, which is very, very, very useful uh, program for the weather routing on board of different ships in every place. So let's talk about this one first. Let me I delete this route. Then I will start from first. Okay, what is this program? Let's come here. A little bit we talk about this very, very shortly. The name of the program is Espose. This program is created by the Metal Group. Just let's read about this one, two sentence. Uh, you see what it says. Metal Group is the Metal Group is Europe's largest private sector weather business with a worldwide customer base and operations in Europe, Singapore and the USA. So this for your information and also here I found it not bad. Let's see read this one also. One of our key products is ship performance optimization system which we call SPOS. This has proven to be the most accurate and reliable weather routing system in the world. Really, it is correct. I really <laughs> confirm this one because last two years I'm using this program. Oh my God, it's very, very reliable. Really reliable, accurate. I'm, I'm completely agree with this accurate and reliable weather routing system program. I have compared this one with different programs, websites, and I found it very exact. This is the website. You can find more information about buying the product, but it is easily you can find in Google. I think if you search in anywhere in the Google, you, you can find a way how to purchase this program, I suppose. But make sure that buy the original one, because by original one, you can receive the updates. I suppose okay let's close it explanation that is enough then you can search more also okay this is the program as you can see so what I want to do first of all simply you see in this course where I want to go I want to go from west coast of the India to somewhere in the UAE in the Horfakan this is a simple route I want to show you first I will go to input in import so I will import the route this route already you have asked from the second officer you can give you this route by this uh, format RTE file this is the export file of this route from the ECDIS so easily you can take this file from the second officer it should be from this format RTE file then you will export it so okay if you come here you will see the route coming but not activated but you can see the route it is a very coastal route actually due to the weather due to the low pressure which is here I have created very very coastal route because I am on a small tanker actually so let's come here okay so input very simply import and finish then you will come to routing so Two things is very important here. The time of the departure. So you will define the approximate time of departure. Today is 5 July. So 6 July. Early morning. I can tell you 0500. I want to depart from this west coast of India. The name of this port is Karwar. But that's not important anyway. This is the ETD, or you can put the now. Now will come as per your present computer time. So this is important here. I want to show you the minimum information which you need to stop the program. Then you can read, you can go through all items. You can find more details, but this is the minimum information which you have, uh, which uh, you should have for using this program. So first here, ETD, you will put your ETD. A speed you should define, your average speed. I know my vessel in load condition maximum will go 10 knot so I'm adding also my speed okay then after these two calculation will be visible then you can do the calculation you put the calculation 
it is coming root okay you see you can see my root now beautiful huh? okay anyway you can see my root then exactly you can understand what will be happen during this route when you are when you are actually sailing so i make it a little bit smaller okay like this then you can see then in top side right hand you see there is this column i am defining usually three hours then uh, if you use this one this icon you can play with them the date is there so date i want to start moving i told you six i'm pushing this one then you see this is my vessel my vessel is moving every three hours showing and exactly showing the refer to the weather what is happening for us you see that everything is changing wind swell everything is changing here and exactly you will understand what will be happen to your vessel uh, refer to the weather condition in that time in future times very very pro very very good program if you want to sail from this area for example to china to usa to south africa you will see that how much is it useful this is a small route actually i uploaded for you because i want to give a good example so we can see the route exactly what will happen during these times and accordingly you can you can change you can make the actually change you can make changes in your uh, route so you got it i think so okay i make pause i want to tell you that first we came to input expo uh, imports or import the route then you have here many routes you will select which route you want and eating time is very important how many knots a speed then calculation you will see what will happen uh, in this route regarding the weather forecast you come to weather in the weather you can select different elements different i have selected as per my uh, size of the vessel and the area i have selected swell wind and risk of wave height and you can see here what is showing to me it is showing to me the swell by the green light you see for, by green color now it's showing four meter two and a half meter and let's come more near this is the center of the low pressure five meter four meter and also in the red it's showing the wind each line is around each of these lines is around 20 knots so it is 30 knot wind and direction is very clearly shown to you but you can select many other options but it will be very busy actually your monitor will be very crowded but anyway that is not the matter you can uh, select anything you like from here and by yourself you can see all of these items this is the minimum thing i want to tell you and um, you see um for the update you will push the update and this column is coming here showing to you that updating usually this program automatically every six hours updating every six hours if you don't touch also but if you like to do more update then you can push the update definitely it will come will takes around half minute you saw now it is updated till this date so this is also important for updating weather subscription maybe before that maybe when you install the program first he will ask you about the region when you want to select so update will come only for that region because if you select all regions then it will take too much time now i know that i'm passing from this area so that's why i have selected this area only you can see black i have selected this one then i have saved that's why now only updates i'm receiving for this region I don't want to update for other region. This is dependent to the region which you are sailing. So remember, weather subscription, select your area, okay, and save. After that, update forecast. And you see, that's why you see for me, only showing this area, because I have selected this one. I'm receiving the update for this area. I don't want to receive from other place because then, because just now at this time, I'm uh, uh, my passage is in this area. That's why I'm using this. Uh, 
so anything more important i want to show you something also maybe this is also good for you you see when you come to the routine downside let me i move this one here also you will find good information for your passage in downside you see it gives you the ETD time, ETA time, good information is there. Have a look to this one. Which one I am using, even about the ECA area, non ECA area, very good information giving you. Have a look to this one. Which one I am using here? I am using the graphs. Mostly I am using the graphs. This graph is very useful. I want to see, for example, as per the size of my vessel, I know that more than 3 meters swell is not good for me. Okay. So what I am doing, I am going here. I am changing the swell height. It's, it's, it's giving to me that in this route which I have uploaded, and you can see here, from this date till arrival date, I will face to this height of swell. You see the maximum swell which I will face is around less than 3 meter, less than 3 meter here. So this is also good reference. You know that with uh, which height of swell you will encounter in this voyage. Also about the wind, you see you can come to the wind, a speed, uh, this uh, current speed, swell direction, swell period, maybe you can see wave heights, wind speed, also you see this is also wind speed. Maximum wind which I will, I will encounter in this voyage is 23 not only. And uh, you will see Anything, anything you can find here, then you will see what's going on. Very useful, very useful program. I tell you, anytime I'm using this program, I am learning more. I'm learning more from this program. And um, what I told you now, I told you about. Um, yes, yes, it's option. So this is this graph also I'm using too much because exactly I will understand what will have happened during this passage. So I understand this one very well. Anyway, you can see also you can see on the passage also you can see exactly that what is happening. You see it's showing you the in the counter line, it's showing you the counter line of the swell heights, four meter, five meter, four meter, four meter. You see in this passage I will encounter with three meter swell. So you can see exactly what is happening to you about this timing interval. I told you top side right hand. You can sh you can use six hours, three hours. You can put animation speed or no animation. You can go by the also this cursor. Also you can go like that. Three hours, three hours. You can see every three hours. You can see like that also. It is showing to you using this item. This icon, if you use this icon, give you to every three hours. You see, every three hours is moving, and your ship is moving. You can see here every three hours moving backside. You can play with these icons. It's very easily you will see by this route what is happening to you. Prefer to better. So I think that is enough information. Just I wanted to make you familiar with this program. Let's work with this program have many icons also inside uh, even still day by day I'm practicing I'm, I'm trying to learn but I think this was the maximum information which you need for starting this program for weather routing uh, for your vessel which is very useful and it is very very safe program so let's just summarize for you you came to the input you, you import your program first of all then you in the routing you selected the uh, routes you selected the departure time you put the, mm, the speed average speed which you know about your vessel then calculation then you will then the routes will be appear then the routes will be appear like this then in the weather also you selected which items you want you want to see mm, and that is enough then for update with the update from here first you selected the region save and update forecast which updating this updating the program uh, and from top side right hand you can play with these icons you can see the animation 
every three hours or you can go from this item you can see by actually handy you can see the your vessel also how it's going on yeah uh, i think this was the most of the things but uh, okay i want to finish it and uh, just i see anything more okay that is enough also remember about the settings you can go to settings and in settings you can uh, change the units you want to use as per the meter as per the knot and uh, here also you can define something for that for the program which is easy i can i i'm sure that if you have a look it is simple for you to use it okay guys thank you uh, but really I recommend I recommend this program let's use this program it's very very useful suppose suppose thank you bye bye